little carpet python just a baby one grab his tail net well, Jung jungle net <laughs> Oh, he's not that big. He doesn't like you. Just ride past. Yeah, he's going off. He's had enough. Hey guys, we are here at the iconic Jim the Fire Tower, which is actually the tallest man-made structure in the world. <laughs> Actually, that doesn't sound right. It's the tallest man-made structure inside that fence there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've, we're doing a bit of an actual adventure ride this time, in the classic sense of the term. <laughs> no hard stuff. Uh, probably. <laughs> we've left early this morning. Uh, we left to, actually got away just after 6 a.m., uh, which is good. So we've done about 100 k's um, of dirt road. Mostly. Yeah, we're actually heading down to the New South Wales border. It could be pretty much the longest or the furthest we've been on these bikes so far away from home anyway. Yeah, we're heading into forecast possibly bad weather. We could get quite wet, but um, yeah, we were going to pull a pin, but we've been excited about this ride all week. So uh, <laughs> we just thought, bugger, we'll just yeah. go. If we get wet, we get wet. But yeah, we've got a hell of a lot of stuff to see along the way. Like we're trying to set a good pace, but we're not just we're not going to rush it and not enjoy it um, and you know miss out on all the good stuff. But yeah, we've got um, we've got about 400 k's to cover, 300 left to go. The main plan or the main thing that we want to do is the Condamine River Road, which has got like 14 crossings, 14 river crossings of the Condamine River. Uh, we're hoping there's going to be a bit of water in there, but not too much. <laughs> But um, yeah, it should be good. It's uh, really nice scenery from what I've seen down there. Sorry about the wind noise, guys. Anyway, let's get going. Nobbies to the limits. <laughs> so yeah guys, we are camping out tonight. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Where's the alley? Alright, fuck the alley. Oh there he is. Oh, we've got to get a photo of the yowie. <laughs> All these poor people got eaten by yowies. We're still getting used to this fame and glory. There's people over here just come and say good day to us and look. Didn't really know who they were. <laughs> they watch our videos. Hey, give us a wave, guys. For the camera. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so this is uh, Lake Somerset, like the top end of it anyway. Popular recreational spot. Pretty sweet for wakeboarding and stuff. Busy. Bloody choppy too. There's the damn wall over there. You've been here before, haven't you? Oh, okay.
So apparently this is the western window. Nice little view. Don't have to walk too far, which I like. <laughs> that was a bit of a rainforest trail along. Hey, look at this. We're in, we're in the goddamn city. Google Maps screwed us. Couldn't go down a road that we wanted to go through in the national park there, so we ended up having a. It was either go back through all those twisties, which would have been alright, but we probably would have run out of fuel, or come into the friggin' city and do a bit of a detour. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Adventure ride in the city. Yeah. Most people sort of head out to the city, now we head into the city. Where is it taking us? <laughs> it's how close we are to Brisbane City. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's not the adventure riding I had in mind. <laughs> Finally back on course. So it goes on. So this is the Amberley RAAF base, the Air Force. Just hoping to get a bit of a better look at it, but oh maybe we can go in here. Cool. There's a plane. So we're we're back on the blue line and we're at peak. Peak crossing or something like that. Um, it's time to stop for a feed and coffee. It's not where we wanted to be by lunchtime, but yeah, it's all right. This is what, this is what the main road and peak crossing looks like. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> boing 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 boing. Get him! <laughs> Over the fence. <laughs> Did you see him jump? Peak Crossing Historic Well. This site is the location of possibly the only surviving well of a series of wells provided by the Queensland Government in the 19th century along the old Warwick Road. Does it work? Well, I'm pumping it. But Pump it faster. I don't want to fall through it. Oh, there's still water in there, so... Put your back into it. It says the original hand pump can be used to retrieve water from the well, however the water is not safe to drink. And there it is! It's coming! It's coming! That's the only water I could master. <sighs> yeah. Coming into cow bar. Rock the cow bar. Rock the cow bar. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that was cow bar. It's a nice little town, though. I quite like it. Nice. Beautiful. It's beautiful and green, eh? currently at Mugara Dam. So there you go, Lake Mugara. Mugara, I don't know how to say it, but anyway. Another popular spot for uh, skiing and wakeboarding by the look of it. Nice little out of the way place. Mugara Dam wall. Oh, you can actually go through there. That's the other side of Mugara Dam.
Oh yeah, he wants your grass because he hasn't got any of his own. <laughs> Come on, channel your inner longhorn whisperer. Got a muesli, bud. You want a muesli bar? He wants a beer. Yeah. He, he nodded. He wants a muesli bar. Want a muesli bar. <laughs> <laughs> Clouds are closing in. This is uh, Carney's hut, apparently. Uh, it's a hut. I'm getting my waterproof Nelson rig tank bag cover yet. Screw this. And my drone and shit getting wet. If that drone's gonna die, it's gonna be because I crashed the bastard, not because it gets wet. It's really still and humid. It's so hot right now. Um, I reckon it's gonna have to storm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Whoa! Holy heck yeah! That looks amazing! Green grass, I tell ya. Oh, look at this old haunted house. Right, we has arrived at the Queen Mary Falls campground. You're gonna set up camp, grab a beer. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing the clap this time. <laughs> the clap was a fail. That chain needs a bit of adjustment. It's flopping around like your mum's undies on a Friday night. <laughs> so we, we got our little homemade crutch bike stand. Slip that under the, slip it under the swing arm somehow. Just need to adjust it out to the right length. <laughs> Doge. See that? that and get free wheeling. That's very good, babe. That's the first time we've had to use it too. Oh, careful. Anyway, we're going to adjust the chain. We don't need to film all of it. We'll come back to you. Yeah. That's going to try and feed. There's one on the ground there. That's trying to feed the birds. They've got enough feed by the looks of it. You don't have to scrounge on the ground, buddy. She's got some fresh stuff. Come on, little fella. Don't bite me, please. Oh, he likes you oh, better. Hello. <laughs> hey, bastard. Hey, oh, hey. yeah, I've only got corn. You gave me corn. Oh, look. Nobody hey, wants candy corns. Come on, what are you doing? Don't be afraid. He's like scooping, scooping out all the rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> Give me the sunflower seeds, I don't want the rest of that shit. <laughs> Come on, you got one on your head. <laughs> In case you didn't notice. Oh, I can feel that. <laughs> <laughs> These flaming gloves. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so that's so cute. Status update. Time is no idea. It's a classic Josh's status update. I don't check the time first. It's quarter to five. It's 4.44 and it's not raining yet, got a few spits. Our good buddy George, he's coming out to say g'day and have a couple of beers with us. He lives um, just down the road at work, so yeah, that'll be good. Mm -hmm. uh. Please don't put that in there. <laughs> the best, I won't say the best thing, but the good thing about Georgie coming out is that it's 4.44 and I'm on my last beer. 
and he's bringing more beer. So <laughs> thanks, Georgie. Thank you. So it started raining a little bit heavier. Actually, it's easing off now. But we're hiding out in the camp kitchen here. There he is. Look at that hair on him. Hey, buddy. Hey, honey. Get up here, Georgie. <laughs> We're walking down, to, I just keep calling this fucking Queen Victoria Falls on the way down to the <laughs> Queen Mary Falls we're going Mary to see. Falls. What's been going on with you, Georgie? You, last time we saw you on the channel, you were riding a KX125 in, in a hard enduro sort of scenario. <laughs> and that didn't go too well, did it? didn't go well at all, did it? <laughs> so what, what else has been going on? I like you break, he broke his fucking broke leg, the that's leg right. a little while after. It's finally come good. He's back on his two feet again. And uh, just... Uh, Trying to make time, actually, to just get back on the bike, eventually. Just it, too busy with other stuff. He was thinking about a CB500X and a Tenere yeah. 700. Yeah, that Tenere is too big. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a big dog. For a short leg in my Oh yeah, it's even too big for me. Yeah. So he's thinking of a road bike now. Not interested in the dirt no more? Or? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just... I'm, I'm, I have lost interest in... In touring, you know, in adventure riding. Oh, fucking spider webs! Jesus, did you see that? I saw the spider. Oh, yeah, but I'm I'm so actually you, thinking of getting a road bike. But I do like the bike, the Indian Bobber. It's nice and low, so I can put my feet down. Being so, a smart, a short ass like myself. Yeah, the falls are down there. Yeah, we're at the feet. top of them. We're at the top of them. Yeah, cool. So last time I spoke here, you were really keen on adventure riding. I was, man. I was pumped! What's going on? I don't know, I've just not been on a bike for two years, I've just lost a bit of interest about it. It hasn't been the, the, the pinnacle of why I've lost interest, but... Oh mate, poor old mate that came off that Tenere. Oh, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, uh, just put a bit more of a reality check back into me, because I'm a short ass. Especially after what you... And I'm not a great did, rider, you know? What, after what you did to your leg as yeah. well. And, and I'm not the best of riders, so... I don't know. Oh, check this out. Wow, that is pretty spectacular. Is that the best fall you've been on so far? Oh, look how high this is. Holy shit. <laughs> That's sick. Wow. That's, not that, that's definitely the best falls we've seen so yeah. far. Queen Mary Falls, thumbs up. If I drop the camera down there, that'd be funny. <laughs> hey, so Georgie, you don't live too far away from where we are now, do you? Nah, 20 minutes. Half an hour, 20, 20 minutes. Yeah. And he's he brought out some Coronas for us. He's a fucking legend, this bike. So now we're uh, doing the bottom circuit or something of the Queen Mary Falls. George has taken us on a mission. I'm the only one here that's over four foot tall, so I'm copping all the fucking spider webs to the head. <laughs> anyway, we'll see if we can get some footage from the bottom, but I reckon it's going to be pretty dark by the time we get there. Alright, we're coming up to the bottom of the falls, but it's pretty friggin' dark, as you can probably see. Oh, uh, spewing. Camera's not picking it up very well. <sighs> All right, we got a fire going. Good work, Georgie. Yeah. We, we can't see you, but hang on. We're going to get the O-light. Get the O-light out. There he is. Status update. What's the time? Five past nine. It's five past I'm nine. The, the beers are out. We've drunk another half a carton of bloody Coronas <laughs> that Georgie brought. We've had food. It's pissing. Oh, it's not pissing down rain, but it's pissing. it's raining. It's definitely raining. Yeah. We're sitting in the rain like idiots. <laughs> and loving every minute of it. Oh, yeah. There goes Georgie. But check out the fire, it's cranking. Woo! Yeah. But sadly, it's still raining, so we're gonna go to bed. Yep. Hey guys, so it rained pretty hard all night. Um, been raining a lot this morning. We're not really in the mood for videoing because it's just miserable, but we're just trying to pack up. Before it starts pissing down again and uh, get the hell out of here. Yay. Alright, we all packed up. It didn't rain while we were packing up, thank fuck, but um, 
had to sort of rearrange our packing arrangements so that all the wet shits in together, all the tent and everything's in one bag and all the dry stuff's dry hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to go and check out the uh, Condamine River Road and see how deep the uh, water crossings are now. <laughs> it's wet, blowing dogs off chains out here, look at that wind. You know, we're living the dream. Still very pretty, beautiful. Look at that. Dags Falls. You can tell that we're at the right place because I'm a dag. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, man. Wow. That is amazing. Little town of Killarney. They do a mad trail bike ride out here apparently at some, some stage of the year when there's no border closures and COVID bullshit. It's friggin' 24 hour body pumps. It's not doing anything. Give me some petrol. Listen to that. <laughs> there's a little old man in there on a fucking on a mouse wheel. <laughs> Kalani's like a ghost town. Alright, uh, just had something to eat and a coffee here in Kalani. Kalani. I like that name. Kalani. Now it's time to go and drown our bikes. Alright, so according to my calculations, this road should take us to all the river crossings. It's really hard to see with that glare. Yeah. And that car has going through as well. Surely there's maybe drops in the middle. Don't know. Holy shit. Fucking A. A little bit. Your pipe is fucking spitting out water. Holy smokes. If that's deep for your bike, that's gonna be super deep for mine. Oh shit, there's a big rock in there somewhere. Oh yeah, he got it. <laughs> Jesus, deep here. Let's go for it. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, Shit, man, that's that's definitely thigh deep in there. It's probably a good time right now to do a Patreon of the week shout out, and of course, it's got to be Just Tex because he did this road on his um, is it DR? DR650 I think he's got. Uh, he did it when it was really freaking dry. Remember, I remember him counting all the uh, crossings as he went. That's our shout out of the week, Just Tex. He's been, uh, he's our number three Patreon. He's the third one to join up and start helping us out. So good on you, Just Tex. He's actually a local bloke too. He lives in Queensland, not far from here probably. Let's go drown ourselves in the next one. Deep. I'm just going to peg it. I'm standing up, going for it. Shit. Oh, it's heading down. <laughs> Alright, that's two down. Twelve to go. That's like some biggish ghoulies. Yeah. 
Yay! Must have. There must be like a really big rock underneath me and my back wheel. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Do you want me to do it? Do you want me to take the bike? like um, sand. Oh shit, babe. It's alright, I don't think your airbox is underwater. I thought this might be the one that got you. Had to drop it once. Blast that water out. <laughs> At least it's only shallow where you dropped it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, now it's hard to get a photo. Dang it. Deeper over here. Ooh. A few rocks too. Gotcha. Keep going, keep going. It's alright. Definitely gonna have to empty my boots out when we get out of this shit. Channel a bit of soupy socks, Corridetti. Mm. 
<laughs> That's like being a ninny. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, so far it's smooth as on this side. Okay. Oh, getting deep there. for the moment. <sighs> I think I'm on a rock. You got it? I can't get off! <clears throat> Fuck that's deep. <laughs> That was very close. <laughs> Sorry. You'd be right, eh? <laughs> Try and keep right a bit more if you can. Alright, alright, you balance, please. These river crossings suck the dick. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Well, that should be hard enough on a bloody little bike, that with those rocks in there. Let alone a 200 kilo behemoth. Mm -hmm. Anyway, one more to go. This one's for you, Jeff. Soupy socks. <laughs> you gonna do yours or not? Yeah. Bit of water in there. I think my socks got most of it. Just over that fence there is New South Wales, apparently. All that thick bush. <laughs> They're so uncivilized down there, they can't even clear their shit. Oh, it's freaking amazing. Sun's trying to shine, a little bit of blue sky going on. Got a few things to check out on the way home, checking a different route as much as possible. Oh, we are doing a bit of dirt on this ride. Oh, what is this shit? <laughs> Quite scenic out here. Oh, I've got to give it that. Boots here. Mount yeah, Walker Historic Cemetery. Nat loves these morbid bloody places. <laughs> They're interesting. Yeah. 
I wouldn't be hanging around here at night, I'm gonna tell you that. Look at this old haunted barn. Just about falling over. Cool as. I love that shit. The um, railway station with a view. Check it out. A bird. There's another cemetery up there to the left. I swear we've seen what about ten cemeteries along this road. Yep. Cemeteries everywhere. Not a good survival right out here. <laughs> Lowood, another place I can say I've never been. And guess what? Another cemetery. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. That's an unusually large number of cemeteries, isn't it? I'm not just imagining it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ivanhoe Dam, the main uh, drinking supply for Brisbane City. We should go and have a pee in it, what do you reckon? Oh yeah! <laughs> uh, we're going to see if we're going to get a look at the damn wall. Those old buses over there, they're cool too. Yeah, you did it, cowgirl. <laughs> nice. Nice work. So I thought we'd try and break up this uh, paved road monotony with a, a patented, a pa patented, world famous Josh's Blue Line shortcut. We'll see how that goes. So we've already gone past the No Three Road sign, but um, <laughs> we're going to see. like private property. Why don't they fucking put signs in there? Yeah. Oh, we have another blue line failure. That's right, there's a nice little detour. Is this happy horse shit? So we may not have been able to do much dirt roads down where we were because we didn't know them, but we're doing some bloody dirt roads close to home. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Getting a bit late in the day, it's like 4.30 but we're back on the dirt. KDM's got a engine warning light on too at the moment. Had it on for a little while now. Yeah.
so uh, as you can see here we made it to pretty much Kenilworth area pretty close to home before it started raining we didn't get any rain all day until then but uh, we got pretty drenched in that last half hour um, which is unfortunate but um, could have been worse so we weren't complaining too much so I had to turn the cameras off and put them away so they didn't get too wet as usual huge thanks to our Patreon supporters thanks everyone for watching I know it's been another long one and we'll catch you on the next one cheers